Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Time to look out below and brace for impact. Yes, the market is going lower. S&P 2500 is on deck, probably in April. All right, I'll tell you why, what has changed today. First, let me tell you why I was actually bullish at the beginning of the week. So take a look at my screen here. This is uh, a Sunday night update I did for my Taser Trader subscribers. Um, S&Ps were Sunday night. S&Ps were locked limit down, minus 5% on the first circuit breaker at 2819. I said, okay, now, now we're going into 2600, 2800. Um, I plan to scale into positions starting in the morning and evaluating as we go. Why? A couple of key levels here. 2750, 62% retracement of the move from December of 2018 at 2350, up to all time highs at 3400, and 2720 would be a 20% correction. So I showed uh, my members a weekly chart here with the places we want to be buyers. And so what happened? We got, uh, you know, we got the big drop Monday. Um, I was a buyer. As planned, we bought a triple leveraged uh, QQQ ETF, TQQQ, and you know things were looking great. Um, the market barely touched 2720, uh, so not quite a 20% correction. And nice bounce on Tuesday, uh, you know, big 5% rally. Came to actually came down and tested those lows on Tuesday, uh, which was nice to see. Tested tested Monday. Uh, big rally, you know, very tempting to sell into. Uh, you know, we were up 15% in that ETF in one day. I uh, bought another stock, but <laughs> now here we are. I'm filming this on Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll, I'll get this video out tonight. Um, and what has happened? Well, Goldman Sachs, David Costin, the chief uh, investment equity strategist, has basically come out, basically came out with his earnings recession call. Remember, uh, a week or so ago, he lowered his earnings estimates on the S&P 500 from like 172 to 165, about a 4% haircut. Uh, but this morning, he published a note, took earnings down like another 5% from 165 to 157, which will result in 5% negative earnings growth for 2020. Uh, and an and, and earnings recession, because you're gonna, we're going to get a couple of back-to-back -back quarters here of negative growth. Uh, so let's look at his, uh, let's look at what he said here. So here's, uh, he appeared on uh, CNBC Squawk on the Street, but here's the Bloomberg article. Goldman slashes S&P 500 forecast calling for end to bull market. Uh, and that's sort of a technical thing. I mean, he's, he, uh, we've already had sort of a crash, right? But he's looking for another down 15% uh, to 2450. And that's just based on, uh, you know, his earnings recession call. He went into detail. So if you, if you, you know, if you want to hear his thesis, it was about a 12-minute interview on Squawk on the Street on CABC. It's good to listen to. But I'm going to give you the summary here. If he goes to negative 5% earnings growth for 2020 for the S&P 500, it matters where the street is. Well, street consensus is still plus 3% growth. Now. Uh, does that mean he's right and the rest of the street is wrong? It, you know, who knows? But it's somewhere in the middle. And what's going to happen, though, now is you're going to see as the coronavirus impacts unfold and cause economic contraction, conferences canceled, you know, hotels and airlines uh, headed down, consumer confidence headed down, um, other types of spending in contraction mode, then you're going to see more analysts and strategists reining in their earnings estimates. This also impacts valuations because uh, let's say you, you loved a stock to, you know, it was trading 200 and you thought it was gonna go to 250. Um, now, even if it's trading, you know, 125, it doesn't have the same upside because uh, valuation targets come down. We're, we're not in the bull market anymore, so to speak, where you can have, where you can say, hey, this software company could trade at 10 or 15 times sales. No, 
it's going to trade in a new valuation range, maybe five to seven times sales. So if, it has, if the stock hasn't been cut in half already, it's going to be. All right, so that's that basic logic. Uh, let me show you another reason why I was a buyer coming into this week. Because my favorite uh, capitulation indicator, uh, you know, when there's, when, you know, it, it looks at breadth, because this is the, uh, uh, on stock charts, it's the SUP HLP. It's the S&P 1500, so that's the 500 large caps, the 400 mid caps, and the 600 small caps, 1500 stocks together. New highs minus new lows expressed as a percent. I've been showing this one for years. We used it in 2016 when it got uh, minus 35%. We used it in 2018 when it got over minus 40%. Well, we knew this was coming on Monday and it got to minus 45%. Usually marks a significant low. But what's changed? What's changed is that we're going into an earnings recession, just like we did in 2016, but we're, go we're doing it from, you know, this uh, valuation peak, so to speak. So, um, you know, the market is, is taking it a lot harder, and institutional investors will be out ahead selling into this because they know that as earnings estimates come down, um, stocks will go lower and force other hands. So the, there's sort of this, uh, we've had a mini panic uh, and it's not just about Corona anymore. Now it's about the fundamentals of the economy. And so if you know the other guy's going to sell, you're getting out now. So I was actually a seller of, uh, of quite a few things this morning. Um, you know, here's the weekly chart I showed of the NASDAQ. Like, I would still be a buyer on, on big dips of the NASDAQ 100 uh, under 7,500. And we're probably going to get there pretty quick. So the whole thing is, you know, uh, the market is going to rush to price in recession. When you, when I thought a week ago, no recession, no economic recession, um, I wasn't quite gauging the probability of an earnings recession. Now David Costin and Goldman has basically laid that out, and we're going to hear more calls like that. Um, what does it mean for an economic recession? It almost doesn't matter because by the time we have a confirmed economic recession of any kind, um, the market will probably already have bottomed. That could be June, July, August. Uh, I'm not really sure. What's funny is, is if you look at uh, the Goldman call, he's, he's trying to be level-headed. I mean, these guys look at a lot of data. This is not just David Costin's view. I mean, he's got a lot of quants working for him. Um, so his year-end price target on the S&P is lowered to 3,200 from 3,400 which means he thinks it's going to snap back. Now, is it for sure that the S&P goes to 2450? Uh, no, it's not for sure. But I think we're going to see, definitely see the 2500 handle. And I think you want to start making your shopping list because there's going to be some of your favorite stocks at bargains you didn't imagine. And uh, we'll talk about some of those next week. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my top three buys as we head into a spring swoon. All right. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen.